Hello and welcome everyone to another installment of World of Sumo News. I'm Mika Grimmer. Thank you for joining me. Let's get right down to the Sumo News. Hakioi! First up, we have a fresh start from former Tokiwayama Bay Rikishi Masuto, who retired in March of this year. He started working at the Hungarian Embassy in Tokyo. His highest rank was Makushita 8. He had won Jonokuchi Championship in November 2012 and served as Tsukebito to former Ozeki Baruto. He said this, I never dreamed of working at an embassy, but I wanted to give back to Japan. When he started job hunting, he sent his resume out to the embassy because he knew somebody who worked there. He was hired because of his fluent Japanese and understanding of Japanese culture. His first project at the embassy was the 2021 Hungarian Festival, which was held on October 16th. He introduced Japanese people to the Hungarian culture through environment issues, tastings, folk dances, and many concerts. He hopes to build a strong bridge between Japan and Hungary. We wish him the best of luck from World of Sumo. With the current coronavirus restrictions, Rikishi cannot travel from one Heia to another to train. But as the Kyushu Basho approaches, another joint training session has been scheduled for October 25th to the 28th. All Rikishi who plan on attending joint training must first pass a PCR test. This joint training will give those attending a chance to train against a variety of styles as well as a chance to feel out the competition. On November 5th, Rikishi will start to travel to Fukuoka and groups of their Heia to prepare for Kyushu Basho. As in previous Basho, all members of the association are scheduled to undergo PCR tests. Originally, there were to be two PCR tests, the first on October 28th and the second on November 4th. However, this has been reduced to one PCR test before the Kyushu Basho, and that's on October 28th. This week, the Japan Association held a lecture for all members of the association on the topics of coronavirus measures, illicit drugs, as well as the use of social media. The lecture lasted about an hour. Unfortunately for us fans, it does not look likely that the ban of using social media by current Sumotori is likely to be lifted anytime soon. JSA Public Relations Director Shibatayama, the former Yokozuna Onokuni, said over a telephone interview, no matter how many times we hold workshops and seminars, there will always be people who cannot follow the rules. Although it is difficult for us to gather under the current coronavirus situation, we want to hold regular meetings. We here at World of Sumo question the advisability of gathering up all the members of the association into one large room to discuss current coronavirus measures. That's it for World of Sumo News. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mika Grimmer, and if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our new Facebook page, where we will have additional exclusive World of Sumo content soon. Links to our other platforms are below this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.